What's up party people? On the road, TwitchCon, San Diego, 2019. Taking you guys along for the ride, pretty pumped about it. First stop was the Chipotle. Uh, there's one on the way out from where I live, a few miles down the road on the, on the freeway. And uh, they had just opened, I was like, lunch for a road trip? Perfect. Plus, oh my God, if you guys have not had Chipotle's carne asada, you've got to try it. Uh, it's limited time. They did that with chorizo. They've done it a couple times where they try new meats and try new things, and depending on the feedback, it either sticks around or it gets kicked. Um, if you're a fan of their steak already, try the carne asada. It's different. It's not the same. The their steak right now is like the uh, you know adobo rub, spicy carne asada is lime and cilantro, and oh my god, it's so good. Plus, like the steak is like cut thicker. It's like thicker a thicker cut of meat, so it's just and it's tender, and you're just like oh, oh so good. I've had it twice now, and it's it's like my it's like my favorite thing right now. I just want to go to Chipotle and eat their carne asada burritos and bowls like every day. So anyway, uh, got about a five hour drive to San Diego, and uh, which means I should be getting in around 4 p.m. ish. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's 4:30 at this point because you know there might be traffic, there might be road closures, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, San Diego TwitchCon, I'm super pumped. Weight loss challenge, right? This one I no, I think it goes to sober October. Goes to sober October because that weight loss challenge. He, when you get to the theater, he'll say like, "Do you want food? Do you want to order some meal?" He's got like an automated answer. Yeah, yeah good thing. All right, so I'm a little over two hours away, 100 miles ish, 120 miles ish. I'm in the middle of freaking nowhere. Uh, Google Maps took me on a detour because they they said there was construction on the eight, which I don't know. There's a lot of people who didn't get off the freeway, so I don't know if that's completely accurate or not, but. A little bit of a detour, not too much out of my way, just not on the actual freeway, which doesn't really matter. It's a two lane road, but I'm still going 80 miles an hour. Eating some uh, Sour Punch straws, my favorite candy right there. Favorite candy right there. Bam! I don't, I don't remember if I vlogged the rain, but there was a stint like just for maybe five miles where it was pouring rain and then pff, it was gone. Sunshine, like that. Really nutty weather. And my phone's been going off like crazy, like, I have a handful of people that I follow on Twitter that I have like notifications turned on. So when they tweet, like I really want to read their tweets. I don't want to miss their tweets. And there's like four people right now that are just tweet of a storm and my phone's like ding, 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 ding. I'm like, I want to read it, but I don't want to read it. I can't read it. I read, I want to, but I can't. I gotta drive. Yeah. And here I am vlogging, which, you know, I'm, just, I'm watching the road. You don't, you can't tell. I'm not actually looking at you because I got sunglasses on, but it looks like I'm looking at you and I'm not movie magic. I made it. San Diego, downtown. There's the convention center right there. There's TwitchCon. Hotel is just uh, around the corner. Gotta make it through traffic. This place is crazy. Crazy. All right, so this is the Loot Cave. This has got all of the Twitch merch, and they just dropped a new logo for TwitchCon, and a new logo for Twitch, new font, new color purple, and they strategically had it all ready to go for TwitchCon. So there's all kinds of stuff. There's coffee mugs, and there's tumblers, and there's water bottles. There's even stuff for dogs. Oh my gosh, hats, socks, fanny packs. Oh yeah. Hoodies. Pins. All right guys, fast forward a few hours later. Uh, ended up meeting with my buddies Staten Dojo and uh, went and got my Twitch bag. Did some shopping, I'll show you guys all the good stuff that I got out uh, later in this week. And uh, then we had dinner and a couple of drinks. Went to the Twitch partner party and unfortunately, no cameras allowed in there, so I didn't even bring bring the camera because I didn't know if we were going to come back to the hotel or not. Um, so sorry, no vlog there. But the next couple of days are going to be super busy, super packed, and I'm really excited about it. And you guys are going to be coming along the whole way. So um, here we go. Good morning, my clan. Welcome to Friday, day one of TwitchCon 2019 here in beautiful San Diego. 
Uh, I don't know if I said this yesterday or not, but man, I forgot how, how beautiful and how awesome downtown San Diego is. Usually when we come to San Diego, we like go to Mission or you know down by the beach, and we're, it's, it, we're down in the beach part of the beach town, right? Uh, the only time we ever make it to downtown San Diego is when we go like Seaport Village, which I did not know this, is right behind my hotel. Like Seaport Village is like right down there. So yesterday, I, I raided the, the, the loot cave at, at TwitchCon and got a bunch of Twitch loot, Twitch uh, merch, because I don't have to ship it. I don't have to pay for shipping and I don't have to check a bag because I'm driving. So I'm like, I'm buying, I buy oh, so much stuff. Tiffany's gonna, be, Tiffany's gonna be so mad. She's like, what do you buy all this? But it's like I said, it's all Twitch labeled stuff and logoed stuff, which I'm a big fan, obviously. And uh, I don't, like I said, I don't have to pay for shipping. I don't have to try and check a bag. I can just throw it in the back of my truck. So take advantage of it while I can, for sure. Speaking of beautiful San Diego, here's my view from my hotel room. That's all downtown. And then we've got, I think that's Coronado Island, I think. I don't know where I'm at, like bearings wise. I don't know if we're, we're that far, but I think that's Coronado Island. And like I said, Seaboard Village is right there. And there's the convention center. So yeah, 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 yeah. Twitch kind of, let's go baby. <laughs> Upstairs we go. So, just wrapped up with lunch, and now I'm headed to the G Fuel booth for my meet and greet. And uh, they just revealed the new flavor, it's sour pixel, sour grape, sour grape. I'm super pumped about it. Alright guys, so we got our very first G Fuel shaker. It's a colorway, it's my color scheme. You'll be able to order this on the website at some point. You'll use promo code Clintus as usual. Just the first step. Soon, we'll get a logo. That's the next step. So buy them up. Show G Fuel that you want these shakers. You want shakers. They'll make some printed ones. Alright guys, uh, back at the hotel room. Meet and greet at the G Fuel booth went great. Uh, I had uh, 25 shaker cups. I think I handed out almost all of them. There's only like a couple left in the box that I saw. Uh, so that's really dope, and uh, I got to meet some new faces, uh, some familiar faces, you know, some some re returning guests, if you will. Got to hang out with Julie, aka One Shot Girl. She's fantastic, and of course, hang out with the G Fuel folks who've been super, super great to me. Uh, they are such a great partner. I love the guys at G Fuel, uh, guys and girls. Uh, but uh, yeah, back to the hotel room, kind of uh, recharge a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna run run around uh, on a scooter and kind of just explore a little bit because there's a lot of things going on tonight at a bunch of different places. I'm kind of trying to get like a lay of the land, like what's walkable and like where to start and then where to go next. Because it's like, I've got three things going on tonight and I mapped them and they're kind of like zigzagged. So I'm like, what's the best route? So I think I'm gonna grab, grab a bird scooter and just kind of scoot around a little bit uh, before dinner. So unfortunately, uh, a lot of things in Twitch, TwitchCon, uh, no cameras are allowed. No streaming, no, no videography, that sort of thing. Just for, I don't know, privacy for, um, different reasons, but uh, tomorrow uh, I have a much lighter day, not as much stuff going on, so I'm gonna walk around the expo floor and I'll vlog around, show you guys all the cool things. So there's a lot of my partners are here, Gamer Advantage, G Fuel, Ogato, um, so I'm gonna be walking around, kinda checking those things out, seeing what's going on, and um, yeah, I'll be vlogging a lot more tomorrow. Today was pretty busy, and then Sunday's pretty busy as well, so tomorrow's gonna be the bulk of the vlog, so um, if there's big gaps in time, that's why. Good morning guys, welcome to TwitchCon day two. And uh, today's my lighter day, not as many panels, not as much stuff going on. So I thought I'd pull out the camera and we'll vlog with you guys uh, here on the expo floor. It's pretty big, it's, it's the same place to do the San Diego Comic Con. So it's, it's a gigantic uh, convention hall and it's not even like, they're not even using the full capacity and it's still this big. So uh, I'm gonna head over to the G Fuel booth, get some G Fuel and let's get this party started. Thank you for 
silence are loud on that stuff. Yeah. These are, look at these ones, like, I'm gonna hit quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, hello there. Welcome to Monday. Uh, this will be the the end. This will be the last day of this vlog because it's technically the end of my trip. But I uh, woke up this morning, packed my bags. I took my buddy Mike to the airport. Uh, big shout out to Mike from G Fuel. Uh, fantastic weekend hanging out with him and uh, bunking up with him. It's good times. But I took him to the airport so you don't have to, to, to fuss with an Uber. And uh, now I'm on the road back home, back to Phoenix. And uh, I took a different route this time, and now I know why that the route, why the maps told me to go a different route on the way out here is because the freeway is under construction. So I might add a little bit of time to my um, my commute. But uh, again, supposed to be a five-hour drive, one stop for food and gas, and we we'll, uh, we'll be home in no time. I should be home right before Bryce's volleyball game. So. All right, made it back home, uh, just in time for Bryce's volleyball game. Got to watch that, they won. And uh, catching up with Tiffany. Sierra just got home from her volleyball practice, caught up with her, showed uh, them all of their gifts that I bought them for from uh, from TwitchCon. Uh, here, I'll, I'll show you guys real quick. All right, so I went a little crazy in the loot cave because I didn't have to pay for shipping and I didn't have to check any bags because I drove, so I bought a lot of stuff. Uh, I got two shirts for myself, two different Twitch shirts there. I got a pink one for Tiffany. I got like a army camo for Bryce. Uh, I got one that's similar to this, but it's got like a rainbow effect going on the bottom for Sierra. It's a purple shirt with a glyph like that. Um, I also purchased a new water bottle. It's kind of like a clean canteen. It's got the ombre look, twitch on the side, glyph on the side. Uh, I also got Tiffany a purple wine glass with a glitch on it. And I got Two coffee mugs. We got the white one and I got the matte black one down there. Tiffany already washed them for me, so I'll be drinking my King's Coast coffee out of those. I also got a partner jersey. This this was a gift uh, from Twitch for attending uh, TwitchCon as a partner. It's got partner on the sleeve there. It's a nice jersey material. Very nice, very nice. And then I got a couple of pop sockets for the kids and a, a pin for my, my backpack. And uh, yeah, I think that was it. Plus I got some other freebie stuff from vendors and partners of mine, that sort of thing. Some G Fuel shirt, the G Fuel shaker, uh, a shirt from Stream Elements, um, a, a battery charger for uh, from Elgato, a water bottle from Corsair. Uh, so I got a lot of cool stuff. I'm pretty pretty stoked about that stuff. But uh, I'm exhausted. Uh, it's been a long weekend, and I'm ready just to chill. Probably go to bed a little early because tomorrow is Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. The launch, very excited about it. I'm gonna be playing a crap ton. I'm gonna be streaming it all. Twitch.tv slash Clintus. Uh, world's first race raid race is on Saturday. Uh, so I'll be competing in that as well. Um, so very excited. Anytime there's a new Destiny launch, the week is crazy chaos. I play, I, I stream a ton, I play a ton, trying to level up for that race at the uh, at the end of the week. So it's gonna be dope. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I didn't shoot more, sorry I didn't shoot more uh, video. Uh, there's a lot of places at TwitchCon that were cameras were off limits, no recording, no streaming. Um, and plus also I was talking to a lot of people. Uh, I was constantly going from person to person. And so vlogging isn't always as easy to do when you're around people who don't vlog. So um, yeah, I know it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed what you saw and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.
Bis morgen. Ja.